Hey everyone, my name is Vo, or you can call me Dan. Vo is my fighting name. You guys have all been doing this for a good six months now, so I feel comfortable talking to you as Vo. But if you guys were newer, I'd introduce myself as Dan, just to, you know, give you a human name, like something you guys would recognize. This is the first episode issue lesson of what we're doing here. These are Belligarth training videos, Belligarth training lessons for you guys. We've already laid down some of our baseline explanations and I've handed out the syllabus. Um, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit today before we, you know, split off, go back to the group, get you guys some more fighting in. This shouldn't take me very long. Uh, I'm going to talk about an effective Belligarth mindset. Now this, if there's anything that I can teach you, anything that I want to assign importance to you, it's this. I can teach you about stance. I can teach you how to throw a shot. I can teach you how to stand with a shield so that you can passively and actively guard yourself. There is nothing more valuable to you than an effective mindset, both in this game and in life. So if I can teach you anything, I want it to be this. First and foremost, I've entitled this lesson, You Suck and That's Okay. So I want everyone to raise their right hand. Raise it. Perfect. Say, I suck. I suck. I suck and that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. I also suck, right? I've been doing this since 2014. I've been to events from Illinois to Wisconsin to Idaho. I've met some really amazing fighters and I've gotten my butt kicked by them. The most important thing I can teach you is that it is okay for you to suck. And there's a couple reasons why you suck that you might not understand. One, okay, first point. Belligarth, the most effective way to compare it to any sport, you can compare it to a martial art. If you compare it to a martial art, you, you get the same fighting mentality, you get the same flexibility in it, and you understand that there's a lot of different ways to do things. Unlike most martial arts, you walk onto the field on day one and you are fighting everybody out of your pay grade. You're fighting other white belts, and you're fighting up to black belts. There are people out there on that field who have been fighting for 14, 15 plus years. Gil has been fighting longer than some of you have been alive. Let that sink in for a moment. You were not born when Gil started fighting. You were like four years old when this club was founded. So, the most important thing I can stress for you it's okay to suck. You're fighting people who are much, much better than you and much, much more experienced than you. One thing that's important about that, you have to take hits. And I'm instilling, and this is mandatory, this is your only homework you're going to have from me, a no light policy for the next two months. None of you are allowed to call light. Don't do it. If I see you call light, I'm gonna make a herald call you dead, okay? you are allowed to call the following, hand on weapon and foot on ground. Hand on weapon, foot on ground. What can you call? Hand and foot. What can you call? What can't you call? Light, perfect. Okay, this is gonna teach you two things. It's gonna teach you one, how to not get hit. Because if you're being touched by it, you're getting hit by it, okay? Two. It's going to teach you to be more sensitive about getting hit. Yes. How about garb? Don't call garb. If you're wearing baggy enough clothes and you come and talk to me, I won't call you out on garb. Cool? But the way you're dressed right now, don't call garb. Cool? Cool. There's a reason I'm doing this. Pressure helps you succeed. Failure in this game is the best teacher. You don't know how to do this. There's a reason that in a one-on-one, -on -one, I can smoke all of you. I can go nine out of 10 at worst, right? It's not because I've got a bigger shield than you. It's not because you know I happen to have a flail or I happen to have a down stick. It's because I've been doing this for three years and nine months longer than all of you, right? It's because I fought the best people in the game and learned from that. You guys don't have that luxury at this exact moment. 
you've got to stay here and fight us. And there are good fighters out there. Don't make that mistake of assuming that they're not good fighters when I say that. They're good fighters. They're better fighters than you, and some of them are better than me. So you need to stay humble and realize that you're a white belt. Okay? Okay. Our next point, the reason I'm doing this. Bellegarth is a community. You guys all met Darian today. Darian's been doing this for a very long time. He's been on the board of directors for a very long time. There are people out there who've been doing this since the 90s. There are people out there who've been doing this under Daga here longer than will go than that. There are people who have worked very hard. When you go out there and you represent us, that reflects, right? So you guys need to understand what reflection you make on us. And we get a lot of visitors from across Iowa, right? Coat is here tonight. Cal is here tonight. Iowa City and Ames. I've had people here from Minnesota. We've had people here from Wisconsin. So, how the way you behave reflects on all of us. Bellegarth is a community. And we'll get more into that as time goes on. Finally, this is the mindset, right? The most important thing I can stress to you. If you die, don't get mad. If you get mad, it's all over from there. It's much, much harder to learn when you're angry. You need to take away what you can and get better from that. I suck. I suck. And that's okay. that's okay. Excellent. Thank you guys.